Hey YouTube, MS Paint Humor here. And I've been quite busy lately. Sorry that I haven't been working on uh, my Daily Rose video. Uh, I've been I've been pretty busy with school and whatnot. Now I saw something and I really felt the need to make a video because everybody on the internet cares about my opinion. And that was this whole Anita Sarkeesian video about the tropes versus uh, female video game characters. So Anita, I'm gonna make this video addressed to you, even though you're probably not gonna watch it, but whatever. If, if you do, maybe maybe this will uh, to some degree take your head off your ass. Probably not, but who knows. Anyways, so I've watched a few of your videos, I've watched people's commentaries on your videos, and my opinion on you is that you're extremely biased. Uh, you don't really provide realistic thought of situations. You, you make it always seem like the man is the bad guy. The woman is this, this uh, you know, sad group of creatures who, who are pushed around and, and kicked into the fucking gutter. And you portray men as some kind of evil, over-dominating, oppressive force. And you, you blow things up to make them look bigger and worse than they are. As well as constantly search for negative things to elaborate on, rarely if ever focusing or elaborating on the positives, especially when it comes to men. So I watched a few of your videos and I kind of gave up taking notes because it got to the point where watching you was really boring and yeah and all of your videos felt pretty much the same to me it was about a woman and she wasn't some sexualized character you would be like putting her on a pedestal but if it was male related you would be you know talking down on him or whatever because you know you, you want to fight the man or whatever fuck anyway so the first one that I'm going to address is your video about Bayonetta. Now, I'm going to keep in mind that I've never played Bayonetta, I've read about it, and I heard it, was, it wasn't that bad of a game. Um, so, I'm watching your video, the only positive that you say about the game is that Bayonetta is a single mom. Can, can you explain how that's any way positive in the slightest? I mean, yeah, I suppose that taking care of your child is a good thing, but how is the overall idea of, be, of, of being a single mom positive? I mean, yeah, like, like, how? I, I guess if, you, if you're providing a good household for your kid, that's good, but, I mean, if you're, if you're killing people, that's not very positive. So I guess the game is just some negative pile of shit? Why? I don't know. Um... You talk about things like, you know, how Bayonetta has guns strapped to her high heels and how her maneuvering her body to to be able to use them on her foes is negative. I mean, you know, so you're saying that she can just stand up and, you know, if, she, if her guns fire into the ground while she's standing up, that'll kill her foes? Because that makes sense, right? Um, you know, I do agree that this I do agree that the sexual premise is unnecessary. But you know it is what it is. Um, you talk about pornographic representation. Yeah, you know what sure, this is a video game character that we're talking about. But who cares if it's a pornographic representation? Speaking of porn, you know, women they choose to be in porn. That's something that they like to do. So, I, I'm betting you're probably one of those women who are like, Oh, well, if women are poor, that means they're being used by men! No, the women choose to be in that. That's their own decision. Fuck you. Um... And then you, you talk about Bayonetta sucking on the magical lollipop and getting your powers back. So what, maybe it's a magic-infused lollipop. I ever think about that? Like, what's the big deal? Um, and then you, you, you talk about sexual fantasies about female. Yeah, you know what? Guess, guess what? Men? They, they 
have sexual fantasies about females, okay? Now, now, now lean in, lean in, get out a notepad and paper, okay? Females, yeah, you know, you know, those, those oh so innocent creatures, touch, untouched by evil. You know, those, those ones I'm talking about? Those ones who you stand for and you put on a pedestal? They have fantasies too. And can you explain what the problem is with being naked or desired? We're born naked. When we want to have sex, usually we get naked. When we mate, which is the component of desire that we have instilled, you know, it's... Yeah, I think, I think maybe you should get the point now. People are naturally horny, they have desire, and they want to get naked and fuck. It's natural. The ad campaign that you look down upon, it is a creative way for gamers to pay attention to something new. I think it's, it's a creative way of advertising. And yeah, you know what, it's, it's quite inappropriate. I fully agree with that, but generates interest which is what it's supposed to do. It gets attention, which is what it's supposed to do. Especially in young men who are undergoing puberty and their sex drive is just starting. <coughs> I myself am a guy. I've gone through puberty. I am, I am 18 years old. I've gone through, well I still am technically going through puberty. And you know what, I was a young man well, I still am a young man, but my sex drive started, and when it did, what did I think about all the time? I thought about tits, vagina, I wanted to mate, okay? I'm looking at this from an animalistic viewpoint here. I wanted to mate, and that was constantly on my mind. The game developers and the marketing directors, they are taking advantage of young boys where all those drives are starting, they're taking advantage of that to gain money. It's actually a pretty good business model. Uh, uh, one thing that especially confused me about that whole ad was, and your, you know, your opinion on it, was you say that the ad encourages physical harassment. Can you... You, you know, I, th I think you could have elaborated on that because you don't really give a real thought out, um, a real thought out reason as to how that ad encourages sexual harassment. It's a thing where you take off pictures of of lipstick kisses, and then you see this woman wrapped with hair. I don't see where the harassment is in that. It's like, I don't know, maybe maybe she didn't want those lips on the paper being taken off of her. Then why would she post for the photo? I don't get it. I, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, and speaking of that, like, why is your mind so violent? I really think that you, Anita Sarkeesian, you need to see somebody. Uh, maybe you had a violent past, I don't know. But I think that it's kind of unhealthy that you have such a violent mind. And you always think so negatively about us men. Um, you know. You talk about the sexual harassment of Japanese women and women everywhere on subways. And I do agree with your opinions. You know what? Sexual harassment is bad. It, it, it isn't good. I mean, you know what? It is laughed. It, it's laughed at when men get sexually harassed, which I don't understand why. I mean, everyone's like, oh, a woman got sexually harassed. That's, that's bad. Send him to jail. Everyone kicked the shit out of him. But, I mean, I've been sexually harassed. I'm not going to lie. I'm not scared to say that on the internet, but I have been. And I, I you know what, I just walked away from it, but 
you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be realistic here. Human beings have a natural drive to mate. They look at potential mates and they choose to make moves with mating in mind so they can carry on the human race. They may not think that, but subconsciously, that's what it is. Some of them, they cannot help it. They cannot control it. And women do it too. Maybe not as much as men, but they do. They do. Uh, moving on to your analysis on the Hunger Games of Katniss Everdeen. Uh, um, you say in that video, it should come as no surprise that I'm always on the lookout for dynamic, engaging, and strong female characters in pop culture. Yes, well, you know what, it's also no surprise that you look harder and pay more attention for anything male-related that you could possibly don a negative opinion on, and especially when there's a female involved. You always have to look for something negative. You, you, from, from what I've seen, and I've watched a few of your videos, and most of them are just the same thing. Oh, men are bad, women are good. Like you, you, you make men sound like fucking Satan, and then you put women on this godly pedestal, which I don't think is fair. Um, you know there, there are in books a lot of strong female characters. Yes, in most, uh, it's it, it's mainly men. And I do agree that some, you know, in some cases that's not always good. You know, yeah, but you, there are strong female characters. Like, you have Nancy Drew, um, you have The Kill a Mockingbird. I can't remember the character's name, but I remember I read the book and I loved it. You know, the, the little girl who is the main character. Uh, you have, like, the, the Ace, uh, the Ace Sedai from Robert Jordan's. Uh, Wheel of Time series. They're pretty strong. Or you have Arthur C. Clarke's uh, Rama trilogy, or his Time's Eye trilogy, whose main character is a woman. And you know what? They fight. They're strong. They have intelligence. They have. They. <clears throat> <sighs> Fucking case of BS. Um. You know, they're strong female main characters. And you don't... Eat. You make it sound like females are rarely, if ever, strong female characters that are the main characters in books. Like, th that's seriously actually how you make it sound. But there are plenty. Uh, and you make a lot of good points, but... You don't make any points, or or from what I've seen, talk about men who show the same characters, characteristics that Katniss shows. Like you know, like men who are caring and compassionate, who who are emotional. They're not ex they're 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 not afraid of expressing their their um, emotional side to people. Where's the, where's the talk about that? I, I don't see you giving that. And I think that's kind of unfair. And now moving on to your infamous tropes versus women in video games. Immediately you start glorifying Crystal, the, the female main character in Dinosaur Planet. And then you express some kind of contempt, some passive aggressive commentary. And anyways, whatever it is, you're unhappy about the main character of a game. Uh, you're, 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 you're basically unhappy that Shigeru Miyamoto decided, hey, you know what, this would actually make a great addition to Star Fox. Let's take Crystal and let's turn her into some some Oracle character. You know, let's, let, let's make her into this person who we gotta rescue. Let's go through the, the classic template of video games that proves to be successful. And so, you're, you're unhappy that the main character is now Fox in the Cloud, and that, you know, he's a male, and that he risks his life to save her using a weapon that she lost. And, 
you know, right away you make it sound as though there are no video games with strong sexualized, or sort of strong non-sexualized female characters. Because, you know, Metroid, The Great Gianna Sisters, Louisiana Adventures, Assassin's Creed Liberation, the Half-Life series, Portal, Miss Pac-Man, the Resident Evil series, Nier's Edge, and Mass Effect all do not have any non-sexualized, strong, determined female main characters. And then, you know, you talk about sexism with men and how in video games they kidnap the women and how it's always them and they hold the woman hostage. Um... <coughs> So it's sexist for men, who are naturally built bigger, and are stronger than women, you know, like, this, this is common sense, I'm not trying to be sexist here, but I'm being realistic. It's true. Even just look at animals, they're cats and dogs. Um, but, you know, in technicality, men are stronger and bigger than, than women. So, maybe from now on, women should be bigger and stronger than men. But, in order for that to be realistic, they have to work out. And they have to lift weights. And if they want to be overly jacked and ripped up by men, in some cases, maybe they'd have to juice up. And, you know, because the female body, it doesn't produce near the same amount of testosterone as the male body. Which you would probably say is sexist, and that the woman is being pressured to be big and strong, and blah, 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 blah. And then, back, back on with the whole kidnapping thing, I guess in your opinion, uh, if a man loves a woman in his life, be it uh, a, a relative or a girlfriend or what have you, it's wrong for him to rescue her, because she is an object. But, but if he didn't rescue her, you would probably, again, be mad and be like, Oh, she, he just used her, or something, some BS like that. Like, why can't we ever win? What is your beef with us? And they talk about ancient legends with women. Did you know that in a lot of cultures, not just the Greek culture with, you know, like, Perseus and Andromeda, but in quite a bit of cultures, even the Native Americans, women are revered and they're considered pure. Do you know that? Maybe that's why, you know, they're always oracles or objects of sacrifice or what have you. Because the bad, the, the, the evil forces, they want something that is pure for them to taint and use against others. Now moving on, you, you start talking about King Kong. Well, you know, King Kong, he was the last of his kind. And he obviously had affection for Anne Darrow once he saw her. And being a male... And a giant animal, he had nothing in his mind but the drag to mate. This should be common sense. Like, come on. What would King Kong do with a guy? Besides, like, eat him. I mean, well, I, I, I guess if he liked the cock, then I could see some form of romantic tale being created. But I don't think that was socially accepted back when King Kong was first created. And I also think humanity learned from two guys, one horse, that men probably shouldn't take it in the butt from overly large animals. And you talk about Super Mario Bros. 2, and then brush off of the Japanese version of the game it is a stereotypical person of Middle Eastern descent instead of a woman, because cultural ignorance isn't shit compared to a woman getting kidnapped by a man, and then a man saving her. And then with the new Mario games, you are implying that Peach can be in two places at once because in Super Mario Bros. 2, you know, there's the, the, the option to play, you know, four characters and one of them was Peach, but she wasn't a playable character in the newer Mario games because she was captured by Bowser. And then you're like, oh, oh, oh why can't she be a main character? Well, because she was captured, but I mean... Maybe, you know, since video games, they aren't real, and typically they aren't realistic, maybe they can defy physics and be in two places at once. Schrodinger would be proud. Uh, and then, let's see, subject, object, 
dichotomy. You you bring up Double Dragon, and you you bring up other games where women are just like generally taken. And then you know by by it, from from my from my perspective, um, yeah, you know what, women are in some degree in 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 fucking dogs. Uh, this is why I like cats and why I don't like dogs. People, uh, anybody who knows me who's watching this video, you'll understand that I love cats, and this is. These fuckers barking is really annoying to me. And that's one reason why I hate dogs. Aside from the fact that they're all stupid and they shit everywhere. Anyways, um, back to what I was saying. Um, where was I? Yeah. Women are in some... Fuck off. Women are itemized. In, to some degree, but men are stereotyped and itemized as well. Um, when, like, fr from from your v viewpoint, no matter what, she is itemized if a man kidnaps her or saves her. Uh, so, in video games, then, with that in mind, men are itemized and stereotyped. Stereo typed as violent, mindless brutes who risk their lives to save the woman who they are going on this big journey to save. And you say the woman is stolen property. Uh, and men who... And men who have affection for the woman, either for bad reasons or they they love her, it's clearly itemization if they go and save her. So you know what? Um, men saving women is clearly inappropriate to you, and the women should be raped, they should be killed, uh, they should be used for other nefarious, less than reputable schemes. And yeah, you talk about Double Dragon, it was an alright game, I guess. Um, the girl wears panties, so what? I mean, are you saying that, you know, someone overpowered you and they threw you over their shoulder and you were wearing a short dress or a skirt, your vagina wouldn't show? Are you saying that, you know, underwear is in inappropriate? So, so what if her panties are showing? That's, that's realism. Uh, yeah. It just, I, at, at this point, I just had to stop watching because it got to a point where I was like, enough is enough. I've watched enough of this to understand your point. That you think there's nothing, or that, that, that you think women are just constantly victimized in video games. And to, to some degree they are, but not to the, to the degree that you make it look. Uh, I'm... And then, like, another reason, actually, why. The, the, the real reason, I would have kept watching your video, but the real reason why I stopped watching your video was because I had to drop a deuce. I had to poo a two, I had to pinch a loaf, I had to drop the Cosby kids off the pool, dump a Compton graveyard into the ocean, give birth to your twin, pull into the defecation station, you get it. I had to take a fucking shit. Now, before I finish off this video, uh, and get to whatever the hell I was doing before this, I have another really good point for you. I got to note how, you know, the princesses in the video games are all wearing nice, stereotypical female attire. You know, the nice clothing, uh, the, the, the piercings, the well-done hair, makeup, uh, they have shaved legs and armpits, etc. Isn't that you as well? I see, you know what, you do your hair nice. Um, you used to have your lip pierced. You wear big hoop earrings. You wear quite a bit of makeup. You dress very femininely. And I'm going to assume that you shave your legs and armpits. If you don't, well, I don't know, stick it to the man or something. 
But if you do all that, you really do not have room to talk with how uh, females are stereotypically uh, cosmetically represented. Okay, and with that, I'm going to finish this video. Thank you for watching. You have a nice day. And to those of you who subscribe to me, who are fans of me, uh, yeah, soon I will be resuming on my Daily Arose video because I've been putting that off for too long. So yeah, you all have a good day.